I hope you are doing amazing. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to solve maximum subarray lead code problem. Now, if you know already, this is part of our lead code series. Um, and if you haven't checked my other videos, definitely check them out. But let's get into this problem. So this is pretty easy problem actually. Uh, what you are given is an array, right? And you have to find out what is the maximum sum that you can make out from a sub array, which is obviously part of this array, right? So now if you take this example, in this array, there is a sub array, which is four minus one, two and one, which adds up to be six, right? So we have to return six. So essentially what we need to do is we need to figure out the maximum sum, which is possible with a sub array of the given array. Right. And it, this is pretty simple. Actually, what you need to be what the way we are going to solve it is the concept of in place sum. Right. So what we're going to do is we will calculate the sum at every position in the array. Right. Till that uh, position in the array. And then essentially uh, then after that, what we're going to do is we are just going to take out the maximum sum which we were able to calculate. So how we are going to do that is just simply going through the array so we are going to start the array from one because we will add the sum at the add, uh, the sum at the position one will be itself plus the zeroth position element right so and we will go all the way till the end of the array one by one right and here's what we're going to do for every position we are going to either keep the same element which is at that position or we are going to keep the element which is a sum of the element at that position and the previous element so ix minus one right and once we have gone through the whole array we are just simply going to return the maximum sum which is available from nums right so it's pretty simple let's try to run this and see if this works right so it's what it is using is it's using a concept of uh, in place replacement in the array and what we're going to what we're going or doing is we're calculating the sum till that point in the array right uh, the key thing that you need to know is we don't need to replace we don't need to add an element if it's going to reduce our sum right so that's the reason we are taking maximum between the current element at that position and the addition of that element at the previous element right generally this element will be bigger if the previous element is a negative sum right hope this helps definitely hit like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.